Am I the asshole for canceling dinner when my boyfriend brought a bell to the diner to grab the staff's attention? <laughs> this might sound bad, but I don't know if I was the asshole here. I, female 30, have been dating my boyfriend, Rhett, male 31, for four months. We live in a different town and he's not from here. He's American living here. He usually visits on the weekends. This time, I decided to visit his town and eat out at a diner. Rhett was already there when I arrived to the diner. We talked some, checked the menu. Then, when it was time to order, he pulled a small bell out of his jacket pocket, lifted it up, and started shaking it. It produced a loud, annoying sound. My ears actually started hurting. I was so confused, I asked what he was doing. And he said that he was trying to get one of the waiter staff's attention. I said it was embarrassing and he should stop right then, but he kept shaking it. I cannot to begin to explain the looks we received from everyone. I demanded him to stop, but he said not till someone came and took our order. I threatened to leave the place and cancel dinner if he wouldn't, and he kept doing it. Someone came already, but I'd already gotten up, took my purse, and started making my way out. He followed me and started arguing about walking out, but I told him that I couldn't take being embarrassed by him, and he got upset and said that he didn't get why I thought the bell was embarrassing. Explained that it was a perfect solution for no longer being forced to wait till someone shows up. I asked if it was acceptable to do this in America, and he said, yes, because it's a free country, and people there usually don't give a shit. But I said it's inappropriate and embarrassing here. He said I was being too sensitive and overreacted over nothing. He insisted we go back inside, but I refused. We ended up leaving. He kept on about how he ruined dinner by canceling it and offending him, but acting like his behavior is shameful. I said I had a right to give an opinion on what he's done, even if he thought what he was doing but he basically told me to get off my high horse and stop calling his genius idea embarrassing. He's been sulking for days now and wanting an apology. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe it's nothing where he lives, but it's just unacceptable. Oh my God. <laughs> I would have ran away. Oh my God. I have so many thoughts. That is revolting. Disgusting. Disgusting. Also, like, I'm Canadian, so, like, I, but, but, like, I feel like that's where this is. I feel like this is, like, just the way they describe he's from America, but goes back and forth. I feel like this is Oh, happen- yeah. It oh, sounds- right, right, right. To go back and forth, it'd probably be have to, like, somewhere ish close. Yeah. Either way, I don't think that there's a single country where that is acceptable. No. Also, like, I served and I was a waitress for like three or four years. If someone ding dinged a bell at me, I would shove that bell right up their asshole. There is just no chance that that is acceptable anywhere. No. I think everyone should be required to work in the service industry. I completely agree. I think it gives you character and makes you a more empathetic person. It just humbles you real fast. Oh my God. I, she needs to dump him. I would have 100%. I would have spit in his food if I was working. Oh my God. Also, just like, I'm, I feel like it's like a, like half and half of like some people who are like I, and I feel like you maybe do too, (laughs) have, um, restaurant anxiety where if something in my order is wrong, like I'm just like, no, it's fine. I'll just like eat it. I'll just like eat it. Like (laughs) sending things back is my worst nightmare. (laughs) Uh, It depends on what it is. I'm so bad. I was a server forever too. I I started serving when I was like 15 and served all the way till I was done with college. So it was a long time. So if it's like little stuff where I'm like, you don't need to like send it back, but can I just get like yes, like yes. that fixed? Yeah. But like when I go out to eat with my mom, I'm just like I'm sitting there like I'm so embarrassed. Some of the stuff she'll like send <laughs> back or yeah. do. I'm like, mom, like <gasps> it's fine. Like it's like fine. just leave the it's poor server alone. I know, I know. But she would never ring a bell like this. Like this is this is so bad. It also makes me wonder that if he's got that entitled of an attitude in somewhere that's so public like imagine the entitled attitude that he might have just like at home in the privacy of their own home yeah like imagine he rang a bell at her to like bring him breakfast in the morning oh i could see it like fucking imagine i could absolutely see it with this one his quote too what does he say here yes because it's a free country and people there usually don't give a shit Mm, oh my god he I'm getting really weird vibes from him. Like, I feel like I already know where he stands, like, politically, just, yeah. <laughs> just by, like, his comment. Yeah, yeah, It's a free country. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, but it doesn't give you the invitation to treat people like shit. Servants. Like, actual shit. So bad. Oh, my God. So, was there a follow-up? Did she stay with the guy? So, there is no update. Okay, okay. There are some comments. Yeah, what do other people think? I just can't imagine the type of person that'd be like, yeah, this is really cool and okay. Yeah. 
I don't get it. Well, his sulking after too. So someone points out like, not the asshole. The sulking for days behavior is a serious red flag. Yeah, I and totally she, agree. And she's like, yeah, it's also unbearable. I'm from America. He is an asshole. If that was okay, every table would have a bell. That's no so one true. would go because it would be so loud and obnoxious. Get away from this guy. That's so true. Also, like if that was a thing... And okay, like sometimes like at deli counters, they do have the little bell. Yeah. Because like sometimes they're like working in the back, like chopping up like a fucking cow or whatever. You know what <laughs> I mean? And like that's the only time where it's okay. And you get to hit the bell once. Like you get one ding yeah. and they've allowed you to do that ding. And that's the only time that a ding is okay. <laughs> if it, I've compl- Yes. If a bell is provided, yeah. ding away. Ding away. Bring in your own Free to ding. bell. Do not ding. Do not. Do, do not, not bring your own bell. Like I... Don't know how she kept her composure so well. I think, like, a big thing for me, too, is watching how, like, when you go on a first date with someone, Uh watching how they treat the service. Yes. Like, staff or server, whoever is helping them. Like, Mm -hmm. that is, like, an either, like, turn on or turn off for me. A hundred percent. So, like, they're four months in. Like, you're seeing your true colors and, like, get out. Get out now. now. Yeah. Yeah. Because they probably treat everyone in the service industry like a grocery store cashier, like literally anyone in the service industry, like with such a level of entitlement. Oh my God. What an ick. That's like ultimate red flag and ick. Yeah, it really is. So the top comment, I asked if it was acceptable to do this in America and he said, yes, because people there usually don't give a shit. American here. No, it's not. And yes, we would. That's incredibly rude and beyond inappropriate. You are not the asshole and your boyfriend is a rude entitled asshole who would be thrown out of most restaurants in the U.S. for this sort of behavior. That's so true. I never even thought about that. I've seen people thrown out for less. It's same, 100%. <laughs> like especially out here in L.A., the dress codes. Like, the, just go, yeah, here's your napkin skirt or get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, literally the Magic Castle thing. <laughs> I had a friend that had to like um, coat check his hat once. Oh, yeah. He, like, And it was like, it was a restaurant downtown. It was like the standard hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, the standard, so it was like yeah. outside during the day. That's kind of like, and that's a lot. Him, they had him coat check his hat. That's a lot. They also make him pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, like, here's like, your it $10 like, hat. It was 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the most LA shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I, he, well, and he was visiting me from Minnesota. And I was just like, this is not how it typically is. I'm so sorry. You're like, sorry. I'm so sorry for this, like, really, like, bougie. <laughs> pretentious shit. Moment. Yeah. Someone else goes, someone who considers them servants and not servers. True. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's 100%. Like, like some like down abbey shit like ring your bell ring your bell it's like yeah. okay he thought that he was a king from game of thrones in the 1800s literally asshole oh my god when i hear stuff like that i'm like i can't believe like it just is such a reminder that there are some real fucked up people out in the world yeah well and also like why why are you still like why are you questioning yourself too in my head i'm like also, who were his friends and family that have allowed him to become this person? Like, he was, what, 31, it said? Yeah. Like, how did he get to 31 in life and he still is like, yeah, I'm going to, here's my, here's my good old trusty restaurant bell that I bring everywhere with me. I know. I wonder if that was his first attempt at it to, like, try to impress her. Imagine. Like, oh, I'm visiting you. Like, this is how it's done in my country. The delusion. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's, it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> These are great. It like it's just such a reminder that there really is a whole gamut of people out in the world. It's wild out there. <laughs> Literally. 